Uh, all right, so I'm just an idiotic, stupid dog, and this one is really hard to, uh, not to fathom. I can fathom it because I've been living with the man through all of his oxygen deprivation, whatever you call it when you're like, you don't know which way this guy's going to go. You know, I have no idea what's going to happen. The crazy thing about the man is who knows what he could have been if he didn't suffer from the oxygen deprivation brain injuries. I mean, he hooks up with women. It's rare. But when he hooks up with them, you know, they're bombshells and they're, they're you know, the much hotter girls than you would ever predict that the man would be with. I mean, he goes for long distances with no women in his life and he gets a little lonely. He drinks so much bourbon, you got to think his liver must be pickled. But yet, you know, he's still pretty virile, pretty decently, you know, whatever. He's still got a full head of hair. I'll say that much for him. He still, he might piss seven times a night, but his big giant pisses, you know, he don't eat in there doing a little squeezy half piss thing. It's not like a squirt gun, squirty squirt. It's a big rope of piss that goes out for like 30 seconds. I don't know what this guy's doing. He, he doesn't, no, never pissed during the day. He only pisses at night. He gets up five, six, seven times a night. But every time he pisses, you can hear that piss through the entire manor house. He doesn't shut the bathroom door, and you can hear that piss reverberate and splash into the entire manor house. But whatever. The one thing I was going to say, though, this is one of those topsy-turvy things where you don't, you don't expect a man to come out with this thing, but this is... I'm going to make this quick. I'm going to make this short. The man was thinking about going to back to college... I think he thinks, even though he's going on 57 and, you know, whatever, uh, he thinks he can hook up with 18, 19, 20-year-old women, which I think is disgusting. He went and saw the movie Priscilla by himself. The movie Priscilla about Priscilla Presby when uh, Elvis and Priscilla were getting together at first time when she was 14. And I think he was, like, gotten, gotten the idea that, listen, you know, I could, you know, maybe I want, I'm not trying to hook up with no 14-year-olds or 15, 16-year-olds. I don't want to have a platonic relationship with a 16 or 17-year-old. I want to have an engrossing physical relationship with a 19 or 20-year-old. So the man was thinking about going back to community college. He thought he could get his doctorate from community college. He don't even have a bachelor's. I said, I don't even remember you going to community college before. Believe me, they don't hand out doctorates at community college. They don't hand out bachelor's. You could get an associate's. He doesn't even know what an associate is. He was talking about getting his doctorate, going down there at community college. I said, I'm a stupid dog. I'm pretty sure it don't work that way. He said, yeah, but the tuition is like $1,500 a semester. I could afford that. I could come up with $1,500. I said, I don't even know how you could rub two nickels together. I don't know what you're going to do to raise $1,500. What are you going to do, sell some of your old playing cards? Are you going to sell some of your old uh, Joe Namath cards or whatever? He doesn't have a Joe Namath card. I think he's got a Joe Montana card. But it's like at the entire end of his career, it's not a rookie card. So I don't know how he thinks he could raise over $1,500 cash. He could barely pay the taxes on this manor house. He says he's going to get his doctoral thesis. And this is the part that I found illuminating or whatever you say, off-putting. It's like a yin and yang. It was pulling me in and pushing me away. He says he's going to do his doctoral thesis down there at community college on uh, – Finding out um, or examining, or his doctoral thesis basically would be all the times that Larry David on community on uh, curb your enthusiasm, all the times that Larry David on curb your enthusiasm redid a, a basic premise that he used on Seinfeld. And for the life of me, I don't know. He couldn't even name some of himself, but he says there's a whole bunch of times where Jerry does the same thing he did on Seinfeld, only he kind of just rehashes it. Instead of having Jerry play it, he plays that part himself. I said, give me one instance. And he hemmed and hard. He couldn't come up with nothing. But he says there's a whole bunch of crap that goes on on Jerry, I mean on uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, that was already done years earlier on Jerry Seinfeld's show. He's rehashing it, so to speak. I said, give me one example. He couldn't even come up with one single example, but yet he says he's going to do his doctoral thesis on this. I was trying to assure him that it's not going to work out the way you think. Plus, if this is such a big issue, you can't name one single instance. And the man started going like, uh, I think there was some kind of episode with a pen or somebody was supposed to get a pen or uh, there was some kind of F. I don't remember. He's like, I cannot remember, but let me assure you that if you watch enough Curb Your Enthusiasm, you're going to find 
that he was just repurposing a lot of the old Jerry Seinfeld scripts, uh, you know what I'm saying, updating and brushing them off, but maybe he felt, I mean, a stupid dog, but maybe Larry David felt like they weren't done exactly right, so he just wanted to redo them. The man says, no, it's deja vu all over again. He's stealing from himself, uh, you know, he's stealing from his own past. He's refurbishing, he's not even refurbishing, he's repurposing. And I was like, well, bud, as an idiotic, stupid dog, I just want to say that I don't think this is all going to work out the way you think it is, but... You know, you might have a good time. And I think bottom line, you know, I think the man was thinking that Elvis Presley and Jerry Seinfeld have a little bit of a correlation where when they were in their late 20s or their early 30s, they were messing around with high school girls. So I'm not sure if Jerry Seinfeld and Elvis Presley were both messing around with high school girls when they were way, way too old to be messing around with high school girls. But I think the, the man is thinking... He's not a sicko. He wants to get them when they're, you know, fresh freshmen, sophomores in community college. He's not trying to get high school girls. But I think he thinks because, you know, if you grade it on a curve, you know, Elvis or Jerry getting up with high school girls is going to be kind of like him getting up with community college girls. I just think that's what he's really after. I don't think he's really worried about a thesis. I just think he's trying to hook up with super young women. But whatever. I mean, it may work out. It may not work out. I don't know. We'll see.